I'm running about 700 colonies migratory, mostly honey and packaged bee sales. This is my fifth year of full-time commercial keeping. I grew up in the business, graduated from engineering, worked overseas for several years, and saved up the money to get into the biz debt-free. This lifestyle is definitely a roller coaster, but I've done fairly well and I've had a great season this past summer. Bottom line is that I've built a really nice small commercial operation with a beautiful, fairly new equipment and healthy bees. I'm going back to college in 2018. I haven't decided what to do with the bees. It would be easy to sell the hives, but at the same time, I'd like to keep them on standby just in case. It's, a, it's hard to imagine selling tens of thousands of hours of blood, sweat, and tears. Retaining the hives while at school would require involving a new operator. My basic question is, can you conceive of any viable business model where a person like me could retain ownership, make a modest income from the hives, and have a management payment scheme that, that rewards the operator to do a great job? That saying, nobody will run the bees like you do, is completely true in my experience, but maybe the incentive just needs to be increased. I'd appreciate your feedback. Thank you for your time. So that's a good question. It's a question I seem to be getting lots of uh, from beekeepers all over. Um, this situation that you speak of uh, is layered with all types of risk and work, stress, okay? If you want to hire somebody in to do your work, uh, you have to hire somebody in that is capable and it's going to be expensive. Uh, so you'll have to compensate them pretty fairly. And, you know, it can be very simply done. And it's done in the livestock industry quite often as you just pay a percentage on, on the overall gross. More money the, the business makes and more money they make. So it's kind of a, a reward system. But the problem is with bees is they die. And they die directly related to our management decisions. Beekeeping is so variable and really risky and operations rest on the back of the beekeeper. So you have to actively be there to conduct the business. You can't, I would not suggest you just stepping back away from it. Okay. So you could go down that route and I don't see any reason why that wouldn't work out. You, um, that kind of follows along the same lines as leasing bees out. Um, it's a trust arrangement you have with other guys and you just have to hope for the best that your stock stays alive. If, I were have to, if I'd have to step away from the hives, let's say for five or 10 years, and because my interests changed or I've refocused, um, I, what I would do is I would sell all the depreciable assets like your your bee stock, um, that's, that value can die. Uh, all your honey boxes or brood boxes, that equipment wax moth can take, like, take apart. So I'd sell that. I'd hang on to anything like extractors or, or equipment or uh, uh, buildings and land asset. That, that'll stay, uh, that won't disappear on you. But I would take those depreciable assets and let's say your operation for easy math, let's, let's peg $300,000 on it because you said um, it's in pretty good shape. I would sell all that inventory, that $300,000 I'd put into a bank account, invest it into something secure. And in, in time, let's say in five years or heck maybe 10 years, you come back, you wanna become a beekeeper again, you will still have your base assets you will have the experience because that will, will not be taken away from you. And you can take that 300,000 plus investment revenue uh, and buy your stock back and buy boxes back. And that way, it'll be a lot less headache for you. It'll be a lot less risk on your part. Um, you'll be able to direct your full attention between this new venture that you're uh, approaching. I'm not sure what exactly it is. Um, and then, uh, when you get back into the business, you can you can direct your full attention back in and then just carry on forward. So that's just a little bit of feedback. Uh, it's not an easy situation and I understand where you're coming from because it takes a lot of 
like you're going to have sweat equity into this business that you're not going to get paid for. So you got to realize that. But you have to take the true market value and then you just have to measure the, the risk of uh, what you could lose by trying to manage too much. Okay? And maybe it's better to cut your losses, uh, take that value, hold it in a secure spot, and then reinvest it. Because bees are very liquidable. You could buy hives like at the drop of a hat anywhere. You can buy boxes uh, the same way, you know. And if you have a good chunk of money behind you, you should be able to find that equipment fairly easy. So that's my, uh, that's my little bit of feedback. Uh, take it with a grain of salt and uh, keep in touch and let me know how you make out.